everyone, this is Julie Murphy, and this is part two of our project on the coffee mug. So let's get started. First, we're going to go into embroidery, and then we're going to choose my design center. Once we're in Design Center, because our design has already stitched out, we really want to scan it in. We have a choice of scan, a line scan, or an illustration. And since we don't want to restitch any of the lines, we're actually going to choose just a regular scan. So then we'll select scan. And our fabric will move and it will scan into the Design Center. And that is our design. You can barely see it, but let me show you what we can do. We, can, we have a dark flower down here with a light green circle, and we have a light flower with a dark green circle. This way shows us what stitches we have, and as you can see, there is nothing on our screen. But if we go this way, There is our mug that was scanned in. Let me zoom in so you can see that. That is literally just a scan of what is on our fabric. So to get started, we are now going to, let me zoom back out for you. We are going to go over here to our shapes tab. And as I mentioned, this particular video is to show us how to work with open shapes. So these first two buttons are closed shapes, and this is our open shape. And open just means that if we put it on the screen and we work with it, if we try and do a fill, it's going to fill, the stitches are going to fill the entire screen. Well, you can see this heart right here. Let's go ahead and select that. And we'll say OK. So the first thing we want to do is touch the size button because right now our heart is bigger than the actual mug. So this button up here actually shows us how to make it smaller or make it bigger. So because we want it to fit into the mug, we're going to make it smaller. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. I think I want it a little bit smaller. So that right now, if you'll notice up here, is telling us that our heart is just over an inch uh, wide and just over an inch tall. What we're going to do now is actually use our zoom buttons up here on the machine. And you can see right here, our heart is actually not closed. Let me show you what happens if we try and fill the heart in at this point. Over in our regions area, if we do a fill stitch now, so we've got our fill stitch and we've chosen red, watch what happens if we don't close that heart. Even if I touch in the middle of the heart, now the bucket is chosen here in the regions area, but watch what happens. Now that is definitely not what we were looking for, but don't panic. We can just use our back arrow and undo. Now what we want to do is go back to zoom in on the heart and we're going to close that little space. You wouldn't think it would be such a big deal, but that little bit of space right there is what's keeping uh, this design from closing up. Now we need to go into our line property region and first thing we want to do is change the heart from a zigzag or satin stitch. We want to change it to a single stitch and I'm going to leave it as black. We'll go here back to, we'll say okay. We're going to take the bucket in the line area and we're going to touch the, our stylus to the, out, the edge of this heart. And what that just did is it converted the heart from a satin stitch to a single stitch. Now what we're going to do is take the pencil and we're going to 
very carefully. We're going to move our viewing window up here so we can slide it closer to us. So we're trying to slide the heart closer to us because we want to use, we want to rest our hand as we try and draw it. We're using the pencil of the line property and we're just going to bring this line and touch it over to this portion of the heart. You can see I actually added a little bit too much right here, but don't panic. What we're going to do, let me zoom back out for you. We're going to touch the eraser and we're going to take the smaller eraser and we're going to start away from our design and we're just going to come down and take that extra little piece out. So let's zoom back out on the machine and on the camera. And this time we're going to go into the regions property and we're going to touch the bucket. And remember we already have it as a fill stitch. You can touch the paper and see. We need to do a fill or a stipple or a design. For this heart I would like to do it as a fill stitch. Now we do have, want the bucket chosen and we will, let me show you what happens if we touch the brush. If we do the brush, we just get something like that. That's really not what we're looking for. So we'll just do undo and we'll change it to the bucket in the region fill area and we'll touch the heart. And that's what we were looking for. Let me zoom. Next, what I'd like to do is go back into shapes and go back into open shapes and choose the swirl right here on the right and we'll say okay and the first thing we want to do whenever we're working with a new shape is move it off of the design we've currently been working on and that's just to avoid any problems that we might have if we have to put this selection box around it it won't interfere with with what we've already done so here is our new shape what I'm going to do now is select the rotate button I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and I think what I would like to do now is just take off this lower portion of the design. So to do that, what I'm going to do is answer OK. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, move my viewing window, and I'm, you can see our red box is still around our design that we just put on the screen. I'm going to select the eraser and I'm going to leave it with the medium square. I'm going to start it about right here and just take this portion of the design away. That looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the selection box and put it back around this design. And what we're going to do now is actually make it smaller. So we'll now choose the size button and you can see right now it's 2.95 by 2.47. I think I'm going to take it down to about 1.85, somewhere around there. So we'll now use our reduce button. That's a little too small. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we're going to say OK. And here's our first swirl. If we just left it like it is, it's just going to stitch with whatever properties we have in the line property box. So let's go in and check and see what those are. We're still at the single stitch. I am going to assign it um, a dark gray color so it doesn't interfere with the black that we had assigned for the heart. And so we will take the bucket in the line property box. And there, we've just changed that one just to assign it a different color. It doesn't mean we have to stitch in that color. Now we're going to take, you notice our red box is not around it. That means we have not selected this design. So we're going to tap our selection box and draw it back around our design. And this is the one that we just reduced. And now down here we have a duplicate button. So we are going to duplicate our design. I'm going to move it off of it so you can see both of them. And I'm not going to change the size of the second one. Instead I want you to see what we can do. So 
So you see as we slide it, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. See as we laid them on top of each other, we now have this kind of ribbon effect. And this is great whenever you're working on something like any type of swirls or ribbons or anything like that where you want to have the different shadow lines. So let me zoom back out. What we're gonna do now is actually drag them down to close to the mug, but not touching. So I'm gonna move it off of it. And I'm gonna bring one of them down. And then I will take the selection box and draw it around this one and bring this one down. And what I'm going to do is I'm trying to pay attention to this little area right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on the screen and move my selection box and just pay attention as that looks pretty good. Maybe just move it just a smidge more and see what happens. That looks even better. Okay, but you'll see that, so this is now closed and this is closed, but this down here is open. So what we need to do now is take our pencil from our line property box and we're gonna actually just close this up down here. And to do that, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, move my selection box, and we're gonna just close this up down here. And if we've got a little extra there, it's not a problem. We can touch our eraser. And for this, I'm going to go back with the smaller eraser. Just kind of come in here. And take out these extra pieces. Once we're happy, we'll zoom back out. And there is the steam rising from our mug. Now, we could stitch it out at this point, but what I would like to do is actually put a little bit of fill in where these three um, turns are within the steam. And to do that, we're gonna go into our regions property and we want the fill stitch. And for this one, I'm gonna actually choose, I don't remember what gray I chose before, but I'm gonna choose this gray here. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so we can see what we're doing. And, we're in, and we don't want the brush, remember, we want the bucket. And once we have that, we'll touch wherever we want to fill in. And those are our three. If we had not closed in this lower portion, this would end up um, filling the entire screen. But if we're happy with that, we'll zoom back out. And now our design is ready to be sent into the embroidery area. So we'll touch next. It's asking us, do we want to change anything with our design? The only thing I might want to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and add some undersewing to this heart. So you can see right now we're on the gray right here. That's the other gray, this little gray. And I'm just choosing the select right here. And there is the red fill. And right here is our uh -huh, under sewing. So if I touch that, you can see it says under sewing, and we want to turn that on. And that'll just give us a little bit of under sewing to make sure that it kind of keeps it from pulling. So we'll say set. The other thing is I would like the fill of the heart to be a little bit, little bit denser since it is going on this mug and the, and the mug is on a black towel. So right here, it's asking how dense do we want our fill stitch? And I'm actually gonna increase it to 110%. I'll say set. And the angle, I'm, I'm fine with the angle. So once we're happy with all of that, we'll hit preview. We'll say okay. And there is our design. You can see that we've got four colors. We've got our gray 
um, swirl. We've got our red heart. We've got our dark gray outline of our swirl, and then we have the black outline of the heart. If we're happy with all of that. Now remember, if you're not sure what's going to stitch, you can come down here, and that's all that we're sending to the embroidery area. Let me put the design back. So we'll say set and OK. And we are all ready to stitch out. Once we hit embroidery, we are all set to go. We're back at our fabric and we're ready to start stitching.